Hello and welcome back. So in this video we would be looking at directory handling. By the end of this video we should know what directories are, how to create them in the terminal, copy directories from one point to another, move them and rename and then delete directories. So without wasting much time, let's learn Linux. So what are directories? So basically everything in Linux is a file, even directories. Directories are basically files which contain the list of files and other directories in a particular location on our disk. So it contains the list of files. So some basic properties of the files located in a particular location on our disk. So when we moving forward, we we'll look at how to actually view those things. Okay. So to create the a directory in Linux, you use the make dir command, make directory command, followed by the directory name you are interested in. So you do make dir and then the directory name, or you can do make dir and then pass all the names you are interested in. So make dir directory one directory 2, directory 3, use a dot directory name to create a hidden directory. And then you can also make use of the make dir dash p option to create a parent directory before the child directory. So quickly, let's look at that. So if, let me increase the terminal here. So basically, if I check this content of this directory, I don't have anything inside the directory. So to create a directory, we said we make use of the, let me make it bigger. We make use of the make dir command and then the directory name. So today, if you hit enter and we check the contents here, we see that we have the today directory created for us. So we could also decide to pass make dir and then several days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, when we hit enter, we are expecting to see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday directories created. So you can use the make dir followed by directory names that you want to create. So now, what if I want to create a directory called sedem inside a people directory? So if I do make dir and then sedem, so let's say person and then set them this is trying to create a certain directory inside the person directory for me so if i hit enter i get an error saying that cannot create directory this no such file or directory so how do i do this basically it is trying to put this certain directory inside this person directory but then the person directory does not exist so in order to stop this error, we first have to create a parent that has to append or add the dash p option to create first create a person if it does not exist and then put the setem into it. But if the person exists, then don't suppress the error and then just forward, go forward and then create this setem directory inside it. So if I hit enter and I check the content, you see that we have a person directory created. If I check ls person, you see that there's a sedem directory inside the person directory. So basically that's it. If I want to create a hidden directory, I do make directory dot maybe secrets. If I hit enter and I do ls, I don't see the secrets, right? If I do ls dash a, I get to see the secrets directory here. All right, so basically that is how to create directories. So moving forward, we look at how to read the contents of directories. We've already seen that in a few seconds ago where I used the ls command. So use the ls command followed by the directory name to view the contents of the directories you want to look into. So the same thing, you can pass the dash l option to provide a long list of that directory dash l a to include a long list and the hidden files 
in that directory. And then LL is just a short form of the LA, LS, LA in or on Ubuntu. So in order to do that, let's look at it. So here, if I do LS, I get just the list of the contents of the directory. If I do LS dash A, it includes the hidden files and hidden directories inside the current CDM directory here. If I do LS dash L, it gives me a long list, shows the permissions, the contents, the, the user, the group, the file size, as well as the date and the time it was created. So basically, the LS provides a long list. We said that the directories are just files that contain the address or the location or the properties, the names and some other properties of a group of files or a group of other directories in a particular location. So basically this is it. And then if I do ls la, this provides a long list including the hidden directories. So bear in mind, you can by default, if you don't show or provide a path, it just views the contents of the current directory in which you are. To know the current directory in which you are, we said in some previous videos that you do pwd to print the current working directory. And my current working directory is home sedem devs sedematica. So I'm in the sedematica directory. So if I do ls la, it shows me the content in the sedematica directory. Okay. If, but then on Ubuntu, you can do ll as a short form of that. Now, if you want to look at the contents of another directory, then all you have to do is do ls and then the directory name. So you saw that we created a person directory and then place set them inside it. So I can do this and here I have set them inside this person directory. You could also decide to view the content of a previous directory depending on the path you give it. So basically that's how we view the content of a directory. Going forward, we look at how to copy directories. So if you want to copy a directory in Linux, you would have to pass the dash R option, right? To recursively copy its content into a new destination or a new directory you, you want. So basically the command is CP dash R, then the directory name that you are copying, and then you provide a new directory that you want to give it. So let's see LS. You say that, um, so let's touch some file. So let me cd into, let's see, today, okay, so person, person, so here I touch some files, so touch some files. So let's say file one, file two, file three. So now I have three files inside the person directory. So here, so now if we know that I have, if we check the contents of the person directory, I have some files here. Okay. So assuming I want to copy the contents of the person directory into let's say Tuesday or today, right? All I have to do is use the CP command followed by the dash R option. And then I give it the person directory and then the destination. So by default, Linux assumes that the last name you give it is a destination. So if I do I want to copy it to today directory. I do enter and I check ls. You see that I still have the what person directly here. But then if I do ls and then today, you see that I still have a person directory here. If I view the person directory inside of today, we have the files and then the other directories. So basically, that's how we copy 
directories. Okay. Now, one more thing. There is one tool I haven't covered. If you want to change the directory, as in change move from one directory into another, you use a CD and then the directory name. So LS. So if I want to move from maybe the cinematical directory into the person directory, I do CD person. And then I move into the person directory. If you want to move back or check LS, and I want to enter the sedum directory, I can do cd sedum, and then now I'm inside the sedum directory. That's how you change from one directory to another, just so you know. Okay, so now let me go back to. Okay, so now going forward, we want to look at how to move directories. So for some reason, you just don't want to copy the contents, but you want to just move the contents of one directory to another so you can have a holistic directory path. So in order to do that, we use the move command, the MV command, and then provide a directory name that you would want to move the things into. So you use the move, the directories you want to move, then the destination. So by default, if I check the content and probably I want to move the Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday directories into the today's directory. All I have to do is do move and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then now by default, it assumes that the last directory you give it is a destination. So you have to make sure that you provide the last direction, the directory, which is today, right? So now if I hit enter and I check LS, you see that all the other directories have been moved into the today directory here. So basically that's how we move the contents of one directory into another. Then renaming directories. You could also use the move command to rename a directory. All you have to do is make sure that when you use the move command, the new name you are giving it does not already exist. So if I do clear and I said, hmm, let me change the today directory to maybe days of the week or yes, days of the week. So all I have to do is say move today to what? Maybe days of the week of week, something like this, maybe. So now if I hit enter, since there's no days of the week directory already existing, I can just do ls to see now the today directory has been renamed to days of the week basically what is happening here is that it creates a new days of the week directory copies the contents of the today's directory into it and then deletes the today's directory so if i check the contents of the days of the week directory you see that it's the same as the contents of the today directory just that the names have changed bear in mind that if you do move and then so let me quickly duplicate let's say create something right now so make directory today now i've created a new today directory just now and i want to put the content of the i want to just duplicate something so if i check ls uh days of the week i have a directory called person right so let me just make a directory called person inside the today directory so that i show you something so if i check the today directory i have another directory called person so now assuming i want to copy or move right move and let's say oh i want for some reason i want to just move the today to maybe days of the week as i said you would have to make sure if you want to rename it you have to make sure that the name doesn't exist if the name exists it will attempt moving the contents of today into the days of the week you hit enter you see that what it has moved the today into the days of the week so if you check ls days of the week you see that now you have today inside it right so keep that in mind you have to make sure that the names you are providing does not exist then 
it to create a new one. And for some reasons, if you try moving contents off, so let's say I already have today, and then for some reason I've created another today directory. inside the cinematical directory right and i want to move this same today into days of the week look at something it says that I cannot move today to days of the week today they said directory is not empty we are getting this error because there is already a directory called today inside the days of the week so you should always be careful when you are moving you could actually overwrite this command to to make it overwrite if you want to so keep that in mind make sure that the contents you're moving don't already exist in the current directory then you'll be safe if you want to rename make sure that the name does not already exist okay that's how we rename directories now we want to delete directories so for some reason you have certain directories or folders that you don't need anymore or any longer you can just use the rm command followed by the dash r option to recursively remove the contents of the directory as well as the directory in the end so we said that the directories are just files that contain the lists of addresses or some other properties of other files that are located in a particular location on the disk right now together in a particular location so to remove that, you have to recursively remove those files and then remove the directory and in the end. So you use rm for remove dash r recursively, then the directory name to recursively remove the directory. You can use rm dash r the directory names to remove multiple directories. You can use rm dash rf star to remove everything. But be careful of such commands else since the f would change some privileges of the directories and then remove them even if you don't have the rights to remove them so be careful of this command and then we use the rmdir to remove empty directories so if i check the contents of today directory we see that it is empty so if i want to remove this directory i can just do remove dir today then when i check again the today directory is gone if I check the person directory, ls person, I see that the, the directory is not empty. So I can, if I try to use the remove dir person, you see that it tells me that field directory is not empty. So we use the remove dir to remove empty directories. So if I want to remove directories that contains stuff, all I have to do is to use rm r to recursively remove the person directory. If I do this and I hit enter, if I check the contents of Cinematica, I no longer have the person directory here. If I'd want to remove the days of the week, or let's, let me CD into the days of the week. Now I want to remove maybe person Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All I have to do is remove dash R and I give it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can see the trillion forward slashes because I'm using the tab to autocomplete. Linux appends a forward slash to recognize that the file name is a directory. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, and then let's say Thursday. I want to recursively remove these files here. So if I hit enter and I do ls, they are all gone. Keep that in mind. Now, if I do ls-a, we see the hidden directories here so if i want to remove them you could also still remove them so remove recursively let's say the set them the hidden set them directory hidden set them directory and then if i do the ls ls dash a you see that the set them directory is gone now if i do ls dash a we see that we have some the days of the week and then the some hidden files and directories. So now if I do remove dash RF, so that's recursively by a full star. 
we are expecting everything should get deleted so when i hit enter and i do ls we didn't see anything but then if i do ls dash a we see that we still have the hidden files and directory the reason being that here we this regular expression the star here will delete everything that is not hidden every file that is not hidden right so every name here and then they remove recursively is specifying that the directories okay but if you want to delete hidden files or hidden directories then we can do remove dash recursively and then now you remember that we said hidden file starts with what a dot so or a full stop so you can do dots and then star so basically this will remove every file that starts with dots and then regarding the name so regardless of the name so that's every name that's a star but then it should start with a dot if you want to remove all hidden files if i hit enter we see that the it says i refusing to remove the dot and dot dot because these dot and dot dot directories are always constant for every directory in linux in the next video we would look at the use of the dot and then dot dot in details so here if i do ls i don't see anything if I do ls dash a i don't see anything you see that the secrets and then the my secret hidden files are gone so basically that is how we remove the directories that we've created so you could if you want to learn more about all these commands you can use the man page and then the command name so let's say remove and then you get a a whole documentation on how to use it when to use it right so and then you press q to get out of there you can use man and then maybe make dir and then you have a whole documentation on that one too as well so if you need more insights on some of the linux commands you can just use man and then maybe cd no manner okay fine you can use man for probably the move here we have another manual here so you can use this to learn about the these other utilities or commands right so that'll be all the next thing we'll be looking at is file paths so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends so they could also learn from this video we can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you.